So I wrote the play when I was 25 and I was literally thinking about what kind of woman am I going to be, what am I going to do with my life and I was really aware that my gran, who had grown up in Manchester, had such a different life and so many fewer choices than me. So I thought I'll try and write a play about that. So I decided to set it over the last hundred years and then split that into four generations who aren't quite the generations of my family, but it makes it more interesting that way. And I didn't want any of them to be me, because if you write a play where you identify strongly with one character, it's unbalanced. I want it to be four lives, and we're as sympathetic to each of them. What I liked about it was its delicacy. You know, there's no tub thumping about yeah. being a woman. There's no uh, shouting against men. Mm. It's just... As you've said, it's a sort of docudrama of women's lives and how they change. It was a challenge, I think, to find the uh, the right dynamic between the four of them. And I have to say, we're today uh, in a place where we've, we've got our four actors uh, together for the first time. And I'm amazed at quite how well we've done. I'm feeling very chuffed and very smug. We're lucky to be working uh, alongside these brilliant women uh, with some amazing other creatives as well. Um, Joe Town and uh, doing our lighting and Simon Slater who's a composer and sound designer. An addition to this in particular is uh, Tim Bird who's a video designer uh, who's going to be um, uh, helping us along the way sort of knowing where we are, uh, giving us a bit of political and social context as well. The whole design team, so myself and the set designer and the lighting designer and the, the video designer, all, the, all elements kind of complement each other um, because we're looking at the script in quite a different way to how it's been done before. 